Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be showing you a command block that duplicates itself, destroying any blocks it comes across. So currently I have it configured to replace grass. So if I place it right here, then we'll see it spreads throughout and chops out the whole entire section of grass. And if I were to place it right here, then you see it spreads around chopping out a much bigger portion like that. Now another thing that this can be used to replace, I mean it can replace anything, but one of my favorite things to try to replace is water. So if we run it here, then really quickly it just runs through and removes all the water. I'm going to do it over here, and all of a sudden no more water, and then the skeleton starts to burn. And this even works for larger bodies of water, like this right here. If I place it in, then you see very quickly, then it, it, it removes the water from this river. Now, hopefully I didn't just hit an ocean, otherwise that'd be pretty laggy. I'm going to run away so we can't load. Um, but there's an ocean over there, or at least part of one. But yeah, I, I really enjoy doing it with water because I think it looks really cool. You can just see it go in and then quickly just remove everything. Now, something else that's pretty fun to do with this is instead of having it replace water with air, we'll have it replace water with lava. So if I place it in here, all of a sudden it's lava, and then that starts to really dry out. And if I were to quarantine this area real quick, there we go, it's quarantined, so now I can't get out, and place it in here. Boom, now we have a little pool of lava. And we can do that for here. And we get lots and lots of lava. And a little problem over there, but <clears throat> in, in general, it works really well. It just re runs through and replaces all the water with lava. That didn't work very well. Now, another more practical use of this would be to replace air with stone. Now, this would be pretty dangerous, and you'd only want to use it in small enclosed areas, otherwise it could, like, escape and, like, just fill the whole world with stuff, and it would be really laggy. So, you, we, we wouldn't want to activate it on the outside, but for little enclosed areas like that, it might work. So, as you can see, I've blown two holes inside this glass, that way we can see it. That way we can see it. Um, now, n both of these holes are not touching, meaning that if I were to fill one of them, it wouldn't affect the other one at all. So if I come in here and then place this, then it'll fill it up, and we'll see that it escaped. And that right there is why you have to be very careful when doing this. As we can see, the, um, the filling escaped the the bubble, like I didn't have it contained in enough, so it escaped to the open air and started making a, a big diamond, so I had to shut it down really quickly. Um, if we head in here, we can see that indeed this, the part that we had selected to fill, has been filled, and this part has not. But it's not, uh, making a big diamond is not exactly our, our goal here. So as you can see over here, I've bl made some, some more holes over here inside a much larger thing and this should keep us from accidentally escaping the containment of the hole. So now if I were to place it in here then it fills up and only fills the bubble right there. So we can see that we've now filled that in and the reason why this it could be useful is that if we were to just do a fill command like a, a, a masked fill command uh, then we'd have to fill every air pocket from like let's say here down to like way down below there. And in that case, in this case, it works. But let's say we had something a bit more complicated, like this. So I'm gonna dig out a tunnel in here, and now I'm going to and now I'm going to dig out another tunnel over here. And the point is this: is that I'm going to intertwine the tunnels so that they both m take up the same sort of like volume area. However, they do not actually contact like they don't the tunnels don't touch each other so we see here we have two tunnels both of them if we were to do like a fill command and fill the whole thing up with stone then that would fill both of the tunnels but we only want to fill one of them so come in here 
and place that. And we can see it filled in that tunnel. And if we want to, we can then come in here and fill in that tunnel, both independently. So essentially how this works is when I place down the command block, it then checks to see if there are any of the selected block like touching it. And if so, then it'll copy itself to where that block is and then destroy itself. And then the blocks that it copied will then repeat that and then it just keeps going and going and going, filling up an entire area. Now, if you want to play with, with this for yourself, I will have a download link, though, as you can see, it's it can get kind of out of hand, so, so be careful, and you will have to modify it yourself in order to change the blocks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more, then subscribe and click the bell for a new video every Saturday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!